The long-awaited fight in Enter the Dragon that so many people eagerly anticipated was the epic duel between Bruce Lee and Bolo Jung. On screen, we know that as the protagonist, Bruce Lee is destined to come out on top. However, if these two legendary figures were to actually face off in real life, who would emerge as the true victor? <laughs> Imagining this battle in reality, we must acknowledge how remarkable both individuals are. Bruce Lee, with his agility and mastery of Jeet Kune Do techniques, would go up against the sheer brute strength and massive muscles of Bolo Young, who is widely known for playing tough antagonists in numerous action films. To feel a similar atmosphere, Picture the moment from the video showcasing the iconic fight between Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield. Much like Bruce and Bolo, Tyson was famous for his raw power and brutal speed, while Holyfield excelled in technique and endurance. In that video, the tension escalates as these two legendary fighters clash with their tactics and strength in the ring creating a showdown where predicting the final outcome seems nearly impossible. He was keeping the rain off early in the round, as we talked about, and firing a shot, picking and choosing smart boxing, choosing his chances and his places to slug, and he just unloads hook right The hand. same could be said for Bruce Lee and Bolo Young. If they were to actually fight in real life, it would be a contest between speed and technique versus strength and toughness. The result? It would likely come down to timing, strategy, and a bit of luck. One thing is certain though, this would be a battle that would never be forgotten. Just like the unforgettable Tyson vs. Holyfield match. Physically, these two fighters are truly extraordinary in terms of fitness yet they exhibit stark differences in body shape and posture. Bruce Lee, standing at 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighing around 141 pounds, embodies the perfect balance of speed, agility, and strength. His lean physique was built for quick movements and precise strikes. On the other hand, Bolo Jung, with a height of 5 feet 6 inches and a weight of approximately 154 pounds, boasts a bulkier and more muscular frame. His powerful build reflects raw strength and remarkable toughness. However, his potential shortcoming lies in slightly reduced agility compared to Bruce Lee, who was renowned for his lightning fast and unpredictable movements. This physical comparison draws parallels to a similar moment in the world of combat sports, as seen in the UFC fight between Israel Adesanya and Paulo Costa. Adesanya, with his leaner frame, faced off against Costa, who was known for his more muscular and bulky build. Nice body kick lands for the Brazilian. Oh! Adesanya, Adesanya used his superior agility and technique to overcome Costa's raw power. This illustrates how a leaner, faster body type, like Lee's, can sometimes outmaneuver and outperform a stronger but slower opponent, like Bolo Jung in certain situations. Bruce Lee's slight advantage in height and his lighter weight allow him to move with greater agility and efficiency, providing a tactical edge that would be difficult for Bolo Young to counter. Much like Adesanya, Lee could use his quick movements to dodge his opponent's heavy strikes and exploit openings in their defense to deliver precise and deadly blows. 
This ability to combine speed with accuracy makes Lee a formidable opponent, enabling him to outmaneuver the raw power of someone like Bolo. Much in the way Adesanya skillfully dismantled Costa by relying on his superior agility and timing. With all of these advantages, it's highly likely that Bruce Lee would overcome the physical challenge posed by Bolo Jung, making this fight not just about strength, but also about wit and strategy. Bruce Lee wasn't just strong, he was incredibly fast. He could kick six times in a single second with his signature moves. In some instances, Bruce Lee could land two punches within a fraction of a second. Why two punches? The first punch was meant as a feint, designed to trigger the opponent's reflex to defend, thereby exposing their weak points. The first punch was so quick that, while it might not be visible to the eye, the body could sense it, prompting an involuntary reaction. It was at this moment that the second punch came in for the execution. Bruce Lee frequently employed a double blocking technique in his fights. His second block, executed by his left hand, was often synchronized with a strike to his opponent's neck using his right hand. This technique showcased Bruce Lee's exceptional speed, allowing him to attack and defend simultaneously with extreme efficiency. At first glance, many might assume it's just a kick. However, it was actually a combination of punches and kicks. How often do you see this kind of combination in martial arts championships? Although we will never truly know who would emerge victorious in a real fight between Bruce Lee and Bolo Jung, imagining this scenario brings us to a clash filled with fascinating possibilities. Picture the intensity and tactics that would unfold when Bruce Lee's speed and precision face off against Bolo Jung's raw power and endurance. Without a doubt, this fight would be one of the most epic showdowns in martial arts history. If we try to analyze it more deeply, the outcome of such a fight would heavily depend on the strategy and execution of each fighter. Bruce Lee, renowned for his extraordinary ability to read and anticipate his opponent's movements, could have a significant advantage. His fighting style, rooted in agility and adaptability, allowed him to adjust to his opponent's attack patterns creating openings for precise and devastating counterattacks. Bruce Lee's mastery of reading his opponent, combined with his speed and tactical adaptability, would give him a dynamic edge in such a contest, making this hypothetical battle not just a test of physical prowess, but also of mental sharpness and strategic excellence. However, the physical strength and endurance of Bolo Jung cannot be underestimated. His bulkier and more muscular build would make him a formidable opponent, especially if he could effectively use his power. As seen in many MMA bouts, fighters with dominant physical strength often have the ability to last longer in a fight, even when facing faster opponents. For instance, in the fight between Brock Lesnar and Cain Velasquez, although Velasquez was quicker, Lesnar remained a constant threat due to his immense physical power. In this fight, Bruce Lee would likely try to maintain distance and utilize his fast movements to avoid Bolo's powerful strikes. Bruce, with his sharp and refined techniques, would focus on breaking down Bolo's defense with rapid and precise combination attacks, all while ensuring he doesn't get caught by Bolo's incredible destructive power. On the other hand, if Bolo Young managed to close the distance and harness his physical strength effectively, he could potentially turn the tide of the fight, 
With his strong endurance, Bolo could aim to drag the fight into a longer duration, forcing Bruce to expend significant energy in his efforts to dodge and counterattack. Much like the classic fight between Forrest Griffin and Stefan Bonner in the UFC, where physical resilience played a critical role, Bolo might stand a chance if he could press Bruce and force the fight into close quarters. In such a scenario, Bolo's power and durability could shift the momentum in his favor, making the outcome of the battle anything but predictable. 